We're testing the Rode microphone, and I've got it set at the 0 dB setting for the Rode microphone. It's the VideoMic Pro, uh, which has that 0 and plus 20 and also has an attenuator on the other side of it. So I've got that. And what I'm trying to do right now is just to see how does this mic work using the preamp in my Canon T4i uh, versus what we're going to do uh, in a moment, and that's going to be using the preferred setting where we're bumping it up to the plus 20 to use the Rhodes preamp and taking the um, level, the recording level on the Canon almost down to nil, just four steps above, all pulling it all the way to the left. Here it is, just uh, the way that it uh, is, uh, using the camera uh, preamp itself, and the Rode mic set to 0 dB uh, of gain. And uh, one of the things I want to do is just stop for a minute. Now I'm hearing a mechanical noise, probably an air handling system, uh, very faint, but it's there. And I want to see if that shows up on the camera uh, versus how it shows up um, when we go to the next level of this. And that's using the plus 20 and setting the Canon settings very low. So let's do that now. Okay, so now we're back, and this time we have a slightly different setup. Now we have the Rode mic, and we're using the internal preamp because we've got that plus 20 on there. And what I did, and I can show you an image of this, uh, we have the um, manual recording and the preamp and the calendar way down, just four clicks above uh, zero. Uh, and I could tell already just from talking behind the mic, uh, that it's picking up really good and that it seems to be giving a signal. But the thing I'm really interested in is have we reduced the hiss overall and that air handling noise is still in there um, that I can hear, but I want to see if it's going to be any less in this video. So let me stop again. I can still hear that air handler. It hasn't changed from the last time, hasn't gotten louder, hasn't gotten softer. Okay, so again, this is the road with the 20 uh, dB gain uh, and the camera, the T4i's preamp record input just totally back down to only four. Uh, what I also want to do then is I want to try one more in which I back it down to just one above that because I've also heard some people doing that. So let's do that test just for fun. What I did is I backed off the um, internal record level all the way to the left and then just bumped it up to one, one little click uh, to the right. So this has even uh, taken that down. And I'm standing about, I would say, uh, five or six feet away from the camera, so I'm not really uh, all that far, but just want to see uh, uh, whether this is helping or what the difference in the sound is. And by the way, let me be quiet one more time. It's so hard for me to be quiet, but let me be quiet one more time. In real time, in actuality, I'm still hearing that exact same air handling noise, uh, mechanical noise, whatever it happens to be. Uh, so let's see how that manifests itself uh, on this as well. Here it is, just uh, the way that it uh, is, uh, using the camera uh, preamp itself. Okay, so now we're back, and this time we have a slightly different setup. Now we have the Rode mic, and we're using the internal preamp because we've got that plus 20 on there. Okay, and now finally, this is with the Rode mic. What I've done this time is I still had it at plus 20 dB, uh, but... Uh, so I'm using the mic's own preamp, but what I did is I backed off the um, internal record level all the way to the left and then just bumped it up to one. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done.